Hello and welcome back to Media Sussex's WordPress tutorials. I'm Stephen and you've joined us for the explanation on how to work posts on your brand new WordPress website. The posts will appear in the blog or news section within your website depending on how it was set up. Um, best speak to us or whoever designed your website if you want to know where that will be. Posts work differently to pages, they will just come in as little blurbs, little sections to start with and then you can sort of select the one that you want to see and there's the full version of that page there, back to the blog. They're also controlled by dates, when they were published and who they were published by. You can also add categories and tags to posts. Um, but we'll go over that in a moment. Okay, so this is the normal page, the website, the blog. And this is the dashboard of WordPress, which you would have seen in the last tutorial. This over here is your options for posts. If we click posts, click all posts there. You'll see here, this is a list of all the posts that we have on Media Sussex there. Obviously there's more, you can go back and see the different ones. Um, and what you do there is you just simply add new for every time you want to add a new post and we're going to type this is a test and we're going to write hello everyone I'm on YouTube okay so as you can see uh, this is the editor text editor looks much like Microsoft Word or something similar you can pretty much guess most of these bold italic bullet points and alignment. Um, this here, these are the links, very handy. Um, these can add links to your text. So I'm just click that. Um, what do I want that text to link to? For now, I'm just gonna link it to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Stephen Holdstop, which is me. Um, Stephen Tab. So let me just explain what I've done there. So I've typed in the URL, which I could have copied and pasted if I'd gone to the web page and just brought it into here. I've written the title. Obviously, this won't be displayed in the text, but if someone hovers over that link, this is what will sort of appear above it. Um, and I've ticked that I want to open it in a new tab, and that just means when people click the link, instead of it opening the same page, it'll open in a new page. And the incentive for that, obviously, is that visitors will stay on your website as well as going to the other website. So when I'm happy, I click down here, add a link button, and hey presto, there it is. Now this is the visual editor for WordPress. Um, it's the way in which it looks nice and pretty, how you would see on, on, on Microsoft Word or something similar. If I was to click the HTML tab, this is, switches it to what would be the code view, the way in which it would look, um, uh, how the computer sees it, if you will. Um, and as you see here, you've got all the code that surrounds that hyperlink that we just added. Um, these are slightly different as well, um, as you can see. So it's whichever one you're most comfortable using. Um, if you know a little bit of HTML, you probably prefer using this one. If not, you can always use the, the visual editor. Um, so that's that. Once you're happy with the way in which it looks, um, what you can do is have a look at this side over here. Now here, we've got categories as we discussed earlier so if I just switch back to the media blog here you can see it's posted in advertising and social networking this particular post so I'm going to add this one to advertising as well just because I can um, I could also add new categories if I wanted so just for argument's sake let's add a category called test add new there it is so it's going to be in a couple of categories there um, the format this won't be on all templates, all uh, websites we build, but on some of them you get the capacity to decide what kind of post it is. It's always going to be standard, um, generally speaking. This is the ability to save a draft if you want to save it and come back later. This is the ability to preview it before it goes live. If you click edit here, you can even control the date. Um, you can set it to a future date, like tomorrow, um, and then it won't publish until tomorrow. So you could set up a week's worth in advance if you really wanted. Okay. Let's hit publish. I just call it the blue button. The blue button that makes it happen. Um, and there it is, the post. Like I say, it's in date order. 
this is the most recent one, so it's the one that pops at the top. Um, there's that link we created as well to YouTube, which opens in a new tab, as you will see. There it is, lovely jubbly. Um, so it, it, it tends to work quite well, and as you see here, a lovely little image going on in there. And so let me show you how you would add an image in there. Um, let's just find a nice image, shall we? Let's just go Stephen Holstock. Let's see what happens when we search my name. Uh, images. What happens here? Oh, look, there's a lovely picture of me. Brilliant. Um, so I'm going to save that image. So that's my desktop. Um, obviously, uh, you'll probably have this photo that you want to put on your post or this picture. So uh, I'm going to assume you wouldn't need to save that image. Okay, so let's just uh, click here. Like I said, um, on older versions, things might be slightly different. This is one of those things. Um, if I just quickly show you here, older versions of WordPress have um, a few options there, whereas in the newer version, they've just combined it, um, just called it media, as opposed to separating them out. So let's just click there. Um, we want to add some media to our little page, our little post. So from my computer, yes, please. I'd like to select files. You can just drop them if you wanted. Um, and click the desktop here. Uh, there's my lovely image. So let's grab that up. There I am. Um, I want to arrange it um, as a thumbnail. Now you can make it full size if you want, or you can make it a thumbnail. Um, you can also do these ones. In this case, the file difference is so little that it hasn't bothered giving me medium and large because the full size is you know, only 20 pixels bigger, um, taller and wider than the original thumbnail. So uh, it's just done that. Then you can do where you want to align it. Um, I'd like it to be on the left. If I wanted, I could change the title of it to me. You could even add sort of a caption underneath it. This is how patriotic I am. Um, then you can add a link. If people click the link, what do you want to happen? Um, I don't really want anything to happen, to be honest. Uh, so I'm just going to leave none there. But you could do the file URL. So just open that image in a separate file. Or you could even copy and paste this link. So if I was to click there. This is the post in this page. I could uh, tell you what, let's copy that and make that the link. So that when people click the picture, it goes to our post. There we go. All right. So as you can see in the little preview there, you've got the text there. It's aligned it to the left and it's given me my little caption. So let's update the magic blue button. Click an update there. And if I refresh on the blog. Oh look, there we are, lovely. So there's a little caption there, and on the right, there's the text. So I mean, that's pretty much an overview on how posts work. Um, like I say, depending on your personal website, it might be a blog, it might be a news section or a calendar, I don't know. But what you'll also notice is down here, in recent blog entries, it's automatically added that in. But this is actually called a widget, and we'll look into widgets sh shortly. But for now, that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, give us a like on YouTube and uh, join us again for another one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.